country. So you're going to hear from other students who were brutalized on that day, but who have only committed even further to building this movement. I can speak for myself. When the police um, hit me, jabbed me repeatedly in the ribs, in the stomach, in the back, at the time, all I could think of was what is happening to all the other young women that I could see and that we need to get them out and that we need to protect them. And I know I'm not the only one who felt that way because more and more people came and fortified those lines. And all I can say is, is Bergeno, you, know, you better look out because we already got the UC Regents to cancel their meeting on Wednesday and that's a victory. And we've already forced the Chancellor to declare amnesty for student protesters and that is a victory. So we're not stopping here. And we got a whole list of demands that we're fighting around, and we intend to fight until we win all of them. Well Civil suit. Um, we're going to be seeking um, compensatory. Oops, my shoe. <laughs> compensatory and punitive damages um, uh, from the university um, because of these horrendous, horrendous um, actions. Uh, people are just, on the one hand, traumatized and literally physically uh, sore and hurt, but on the other hand. Um, the students are, are ready to keep fighting, and um, that's why we're filing this uh, lawsuit, so that um, other students know that uh, when you fight, if you're uh, brutalized, the whole point of this brutality is to try to um, keep students from fighting. And we're saying, no, we have your back. Um, you can keep fighting, and we are not going to let uh, the police or this university or this city or this state um, get away with um, you know, brutalizing and taking away um, the First Amendment rights of student protesters. And other, uh, uh, we have about uh, 14 plaintiffs at this moment right now. We plan to file either by the end of this week or early next week. Uh, we are still um, meeting with uh, more plaintiffs. More and more students are coming forward and want to file. We invite you to come. Uh, uh, call event, get in contact with BAM. Our website is B A M N um, <laughs> dot com. B A M N dot com. Um, come to our website, contact us, um, get involved with this case. If you witnessed anything, if you witnessed uh, people getting um, hit, beat, um, uh, <laughs> arrested, all of that, um, contact us. Uh, one individual in particular, his name is uh, Robert uh, Slaughter. He should be here with us right now, but he's not here. He's a, a black um, student at um, St. Mary's College, and he was banned from this campus for the next, for seven days from November 9th. Be <laughs> and all he did was come here in solidarity with the Occupy UC Berkeley movement for coming here and speaking, his punishment was to be um, pulled out, um, thrown on the ground, have a four to five police jump on top of him, beat him, kick him on his um, legs and upper body, literally choked um, <laughs> for uh, quite a long time. He couldn't breathe. He was asking, please stop choking me, and they choked him even harder. Um, it's just absolutely horrendous. He was, as a, as a black student, um, he was called a gang member by the police. He was just treated absolutely racist and horrendously. And I mean, what we saw here, we saw a great integrated movement and the, the police are trying to divide us. They're trying to divide black from white, Latino from black, um, Asian from black and Latino, everything. And we just don't accept that. This is gonna be an integrated movement um, this, what they, what we saw were Bull Connor tactics, tactics from Birmingham, mm -hmm. Alabama, 1960s, and no, this is 2011. We do not accept that, and um, we're gonna, we're gonna keep this fight going, and um, I.
Thank you very much. The website, one more time, please. The website, um, okay, by one more any time. means necessary, it's the letters B A M N dot com. BAM dot com. And how many, when did you file? Did you just have you filed already? Or you We're filed? gonna file by um, next week. Next week, what? What? Uh, Alameda County? It, um, it'll probably be a federal suit. All right. We have a few more students who are going to speak about their experience and why they're out here.